To find the surface area of a pyramid, you need to add the area of each of the layers around that pyramid. You can see on this pyramid here, we've got one triangle running down the right-hand side. We've got three more triangles as you go around the outside of it. And we also have a base area that we also need to add on. So let's start by finding the area of that triangle there on the right. What I'm going to do is make a copy of it. And we're just going to place it there. Okay, so what we've got here is a green line that runs along the base. It's the same green line you can see over here, which is eight meters long. There's our eight meters. And remember that we're finding the area of each of these faces. So we need the area of this triangle. What is the area of a triangle? Well, it's half times base times the perpendicular height. So we've got our base length there, but we don't have the height. Now you need to ask yourself, where do I get that height from? If you come back to the pyramid, we need this height that runs up the face of that triangle. Now, when I say the face of the triangle, this triangle here, it's leaning into the pyramid. So the height is actually this distance here. It's not the five meters you can see that goes straight up the center of the pyramid there. That's the height of the pyramid itself. We need this height here that's on an angle. That's called the slant height. So how do we get this angular height, that slant height that runs along the face of that triangle there? Well, here's a hint. You can see we've got ourselves a right angle triangle in there. And what do we know about right angle triangles? Well, we can use Pythagoras and that will give us the length of the hypotenuse. So we need two short sides for Pythagoras. So if we look at the base there, we don't have a number for the length of the base. So you need to look back at the pyramid one more time and try to find the length of that dotted blue line. Now, if I just put a little line across here, you can see I'm bisecting six, I'm cutting six in half. So half of six is gonna give you three meters. And that's the same length as what you've got there in the center of the pyramid, that blue line. So that's where we're gonna get our length from. That three meters will be right there. So I'm gonna go and take that triangle and I'm gonna bring it out so we can work on it a bit and see what it looks like. I'm just gonna put it over here. And now let's put some values on it. So we, we know it's five meters high. And we just saw that half of six is three meters. So we now need the value of that hypotenuse. So Pythagoras is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, the c value is the long side. a and b are the two short sides. So five squared plus three squared equals c squared. Now, 25 is five squared. And three times three will give you nine. So we've got c squared like that. We add these two values together and you're gonna get 34. So how do we get C only? We've got C squared is 34. We need to square root it. So C is the square root of 34. Now, we will leave this answer in exact form like this. If we keep pushing forward and use our calculator, you'll get a number with decimals, and that leads to rounding errors. So if we just keep it like that, it's a lot safer. I'm going to say that this height here is the square root of 34. Now... What were we doing with this triangle? We were finding the area of that triangle because we want the area of this face here on the pyramid. So we now have the base of eight and we have the height of the square root of 34. So the area is half times eight times the square root of 34. And we're gonna stop right there because that's enough information. We can use this at the very end to calculate our surface area by simply entering that as it is into our calculator. So we'll move on to this front facing triangle. Now that triangle looks like this. You can see we've got this blue line, which is six meters. It's the same blue line down here. So I'm gonna say that that's six meters. And what are we doing with this triangle? Well, same thing we did with the last one. We're finding the area. So the area of a triangle is half times base times height. Do we have the base? Yeah, we do. We've got six meters, but we don't have the perpendicular height. If you come back to here, once again, we've got five meters, but it's not the same as the slant height that runs straight down that wall there on that angle. So we need to find that, and it's not gonna be the same as what we found along this triangle here, because we've got some different values, and you'll see what happens in a second. So here's our next hint. We've got ourselves a triangle inside. It doesn't look like a right angle triangle because it faces towards us, but it is a right angle triangle. It's just the angle that we're looking at it. So I'm gonna grab that triangle in a moment. But first of all, let's find out where we get the values from. We know that the height of the triangle is gonna be five, but we need 
our value for, well, I called it B over here. We need the length of the green line. So if you go across from the center of the triangle, and instead of bisecting six like we did last time, we're going to bisect this way instead. So we're cutting eight in half. And if you cut eight in half, you're going to find that this green line, the dotted green line, will be four. So that's enough information. Now what we can do is pull that triangle out. So I'm just going to grab it. And we'll move it over to here, like that. Okay, so let's put our values back on. Our height of that triangle is 5 meters, and we saw that half of 8 is the length of the green line, so that's going to be 4 meters there. Now, once again, we're using Pythagoras to find a new value of C, so it's going to be A squared plus B squared equals C squared. A squared is 5 times 5, so I'll just go straight for the 25 there, plus 4 times 4 is 16 equals c squared. 25 plus 16 is going to give you 41. So 41 equals c squared. We just want c though. We don't want c squared, so c is the square root of 41. And once again, that is an exact answer. We'll leave it like that. So I'm going to plug 41 into this picture over here. I'm going to say that that height is the square root of 41, because as you can see, that's the orange line. It's the same orange line that you have here, and that's the same orange line that would run down the face of that triangle on that pyramid there. So, we are now finding the area of this triangle. So we've got half times the base, what's our base? 6 meters, times the square root of 41, which is our height. And once again, enough information, we don't need to keep moving forward because we can use that in one big calculation at the end. And I think we can finish it up now. All we need to do is add all of the different layers together. So, our surface area for the entire pyramid is going to be, well, we'll start with the base there. We can see it's just a rectangle. It's 6 meters times 8 meters. So 6 times 8. Plus, we need to start adding on these triangles. Now, you saw that the right-hand side triangle is this area here, half times 8 times the square root of 34. But that triangle has a duplicate on the other side, exactly the same area. So we have two of them. So I'm going to say we need 2 times half times 8 times the square root of 34. But we have two more triangles that we need to add. So plus these two triangles, the front and the back one, are both the same size. So 2 times, and what are the areas? They're right here. Half times 6 times the square root of 41. Square root of 41. Finally, we just push our equals button. So you, you do that whole thing in one calculation on the calculator, and what you'll get is 133.06636, those numbers just keep going. To round this to two decimal places will give you 133.07 meters squared. So that there is a total surface area for this pyramid.